Welcome back everybody. This is part two to the laws of indices video where today we'll be focusing on the two final laws which are the negative index and fractional index. So the first one that we'll be looking at is negative index and as the name suggests it is when you have a negative in the power or the index. So we have a cube divided by a to the fifth power. If I was supposed to write this in index notation, we know that a cube is just three a's being multiplied. So a times a times a. And a to the fifth power is five a's being multiplied. Now if I am to cancel, a into a would leave one. a into a, one times. a into a would leave one times. The numerator, it would be one times one times one, which is one over one times one times one, times a is a, a times a is equal to a squared. So one over a squared. So this is using index notation. But we also know that when we are dividing two terms and the bases are the same, we subtract the powers. So it would be three minus five to give us a to the negative two or the negative square. All right, so we can now conclude that a to the negative square is equal to 1 over a squared. In essence, this is the law. The negative index can be expressed as a positive by reciprocating the term. a to the negative m is equal to 1 over a to the m power. Let's look at some examples. So we are asked to write the following using positive index. So to get rid of the negative index. So let's go. So we have m to the negative cube. And to get rid of the negative, we will just reciprocate. We, when we reciprocate the m to the negative cube, we will get 1 over m cube. Now the second one, we have a fraction. So the base is a fraction. So a over b and it is being raised to a negative square. So any time you have a fraction being raised to a negative power, it's the same concept, you reciprocate the base. So you will reciprocate the A over B. When you reciprocate A over B, you'll get B over A. Like this in a, in a simpler form, so B squared over A squared. So that would be the answer. We have another example here, so we're asked to simplify the first. The first example is five to the negative cube being multiplied by five to the negative six square. So we know when we multiply two bases that are the same, we add the powers. So we'd write about the base, which is five, and add the powers. So negative three plus negative six, that's equal to negative nine, and we want to get rid of that negative in the power, so we would reciprocate. So, so it would become 1 over 5 to the ninth power. Now they asked you to simplify, so I would leave it here. But if it was a case where they asked you to evaluate or find the answer, then you would put this in the calculator and find the exact value of, of 5 to the ninth power. For the second example, we have a times b to the negative square, all being raised to the negative square. Now, from the previous video, we would know that only the b is being raised to the negative square, right? And not the ab. That's very important, but everything inside the bracket is being raised to the negative square outside. So we know when we have a power raised to another power, we multiply. So the power for the a would be 1. So it would be a to the 1 power times negative 2 and b to the negative square times negative square. And this can now be written as a to the negative square times b to the positive 4 power. So we want to get rid of the negative in the index so we can rewrite this a to the negative square as 1 over a square times b to the 4 power and when we combine both terms we will get b to the 4 power over a square. The next law that we have is fractional index and this is when we have a fraction as 
the power or the exponent. So the rule states that a raised to the 1 over n is equal to the n root of the base. So the denominator will tell, tell the type of root and this is the case when the numerator is 1. And a to the m over n is equal to the n root of the base and it is all raised to the m power. So the numerator is the power and the denominator is the type of root. So that is the fractional index. Let's work a question. The first example states that we should evaluate 25 raised to the half power. So the denominator tells us the type of root. So in this case, it would be the square root of 25. And because it says evaluate, so we're going to find the answer. The square root of 25 is 5. So the answer is equal to 5. B, we know that the denominator is a type of root. So it would be the fourth root of 16. And the numerator tells us what the entire thing, the power that it is raised to. That would be the cube of power. So let us work out the, the root first. So the fourth root of 16 is equal to 2. And the 2 is being raised to the cube power, the third power. So 2 cube, and we know that 2 cube is equal to 8. Let's work some additional examples. So the first one we have 2 cube being raised to a negative square. And we're asked to leave the answers as a positive index. So we have a power raised to another power. So we can write, write this as 2 to the third power times negative 2. And this is equal to 2 to the negative 6. We want to get rid of the negative in the index. So we reciprocate. It will become 1 over 2 to the 6th power. And we can also find 2 to the 6th power, which is 1 over 64. The second question, we have 81 over 625 being raised to the negative 3 fourth power. First step that we need to take is to get rid of the negative from the power. And we know that when we have a negative in the power, we reciprocate the base. So we'd have 625 over 81 to get rid of the negative in the power. Now that we have gotten rid of the negative in the power, we realize that it is a power raised to another power. So the power for the 621 is 1, the power for the 81 is 1. So we can rewrite this again as 625. 1 times 3 over 4 gives us 3 over 4, over 81 to 3 over 4. Now we know when we have a fraction that the denominator is the type of root. So we can rewrite this as the fourth root of 625. And we know that the numerator is what everything is raised to. So the cube at the third power. We do the same with the denominator. So the, so the four is the type of root. So it's the fourth root of 81 and everything is being raised to the third power. Let's work this out. So the fourth root of 64 is five. Fourth root of 81 is three. So this would be five over three and three over three, which is equal to 125 over 27. Third example we have is 4B, all raised to the negative one power times four B, to the negative one. Let's first get rid of the negative in the power. Now everything in the bracket is being raised to the negative power. So when we to get rid of the negative, we'd have to reciprocate the 4b. So this would become 1 over 4b times only the b is being raised to the negative power. So it'll be 4 over b. So we have gotten rid of the, the, the negative index. So let's go ahead and try to work this out so we can combine both terms so 1 times 4 give us 4 
and for b times b, it was 4b squared. Now we realize that we can cancel the numbers. So 4 into 4, 1. 4 into 4, 1. So we are left with 1 over b squared. For example, we have a times the fourth root of a. So that if we rewrite this as a fractional index, it would be a 1 over 4. Now we know the type of root is the denominator, so it will be 1 over 4. And we can go ahead and, and work this out. So we're multiplying and the bases are the same. So we go ahead and add the power. So the power here is 1. So it will be 1 plus 1 over 4, which gives us a to the 5 over 4. The fifth example, power raised to another power. So everything in the bracket will be squared. So we'll have 2 square m. 2 times 2, n, 1 times 2, and p, 1 times 2, will get 2 squares, 4, m to the 4th power, n square, p square. Now the final example that we have is this one right here, a very complex um, question. Let's go ahead first by working out the brackets. So we have a power raised to another power. So when we expand this, we'd have negative a. Four times three gives us 12. And b cube times a to the fifth power. So the power is one, so one times five is five. And b, the power is one, so one times five is five. Power raised to another power all over negative a to the 8th power times b to the 8th power. Now we realize that we have a negative in the base. So negative a and positive a are two different things. So we cannot go ahead and add or subtract the power. So we need to get rid of this negative. So we know that a negative 1 times a is equal to negative a. So we can factor out that negative. So it would be 1a times a. Now, so 1a times a. And a negative 1 into negative 1 will cancel each other. So we're left with a positive a to the 12th power and a positive a to the 8th power. So we can go ahead and work out the numerator. The a to the 12th power times a to the fifth power, bases are the same, so we can go ahead and add the powers. B cube times B to the fifth power, bases are the same, so we can go ahead and add the powers over A to the eighth, B to the eighth. This would be equal to A to the 17th power times A to the eighth power over A eight times B. Eight. Now we know that when we are dividing, we subtract the powers, so it would be a to the 17 power minus 8 times b to the 8 power minus 8. 17 minus 8 gives us 9 times b to the 0 power, and we know that anything raised to the 0 power is 1, so the answer is a to the 9th power. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more math content.